Yo, hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure that most of you know that I'm a professional free ride mountain bike rider, but less of you might know, I'm sure some of you, that I'm also a bit of a gamer. I spent, when I was growing up, a bit too much time playing video games, and to be honest, even today, not a lot has changed. So that brings me on to an opportunity that happened recently because only last week I actually got the chance to go to the Ubisoft headquarters in the UK which is a gaming company and it's a sick office by the way, really cool. And I actually got the chance to go and play a video game that hasn't even been released yet and preview it, try it, test it and that is the new Trials game, Trials Rising which as a cyclist, as a mountain biker, as a anyone just I love bikes. I can't think of a more suited and a more fitting game than Trials to go and play, let alone be one of the first people to actually play it with a group of professional gamers and we played head to head and even as a sponsored ad campaign, this is such a good fit for me. And it really took me back because when I was younger and when I was at school, I used to spend a lot of time in break times, lunch times, even some of my IT lessons playing Trials, the original game, on the computer screen and when I was hooked on biking back then it was just the only game that I really found addictive and just like I wanted to complete races and learn tricks on my bike I just had that same level of like I want to get better at this game because it's biking and it's really cool and the jumps are massive. So, it turns out my enjoyment for that game and my competitiveness hasn't changed whatsoever because the new game is insane. The graphics, the levels, the maps, the challenges, the courses are... I don't know why it's so enjoyable as a bike rider. It's just so cool getting through levels that... and you I like find flow and feel like I have to land in the landings and stuff even though it's not real. But I guess it's just a fantastically designed game because I actually get that feeling of oh I landed that perfectly or oh, I did that in a good time. So if you've never played Trials and you're thinking I don't even know what you're talking about Matt this is what the game looks like. You have to get through courses which I call them courses you'll see that they're ridiculous it's so funny. You have to get through these courses in as little time as possible with as few mistakes as possible which is what Trials is in real life. And that sounds easy, but when the course is constantly changing, the jumps are humongous, stuff is exploding, things are falling over, stuff is moving, it's not quite as easy as it sounds. And the levels take you all around the world. You have to unlock new levels, new courses, new tracks, which they're all different. They're all in different locations. They're kind of based on even real places in the world to suit where you, where you unlock them on the world map, which is really cool and it's just so challenging. You start off, you get some tracks that are flowy, big jumps, and then you get those technical tracks, like the technical downhill section, where you're thinking, who's built this? And it's the same, who has built that on the game? Because it's so tough. Honestly, I spent so long trying to get through some sections, but you just, you just get hooked and you have to achieve it, which is so funny. It's that same level of like desperation to land something that I have when I actually go riding. So. You can do back flips, you can do front flips, you can even double back flip a step down and I know how well that went for me when I tried it for real so it's quite nice that on the game I actually landed it so I think when it comes to step down double flips I should probably stick to the computer screen and save my brain the shaking it got last time because here's me trying it for real. <laughs> I can't believe the guy Johnny filming just said, are you alright? After that, that was a horrible crash. So that kind of shows that what's going on on screen does kind of link to stuff that I've done in real life. And I actually have pulled a load of clips off of my YouTube channel to show you some of the stuff in the game which isn't too dissimilar to what I've done on my bike in real life. And I think this is really cool because it's complete make-believe versus real life and they fit together in a video because I love doing both actually and you might be able to do the same. When the game's released, you'll be able to play it and think, oh, I've done that jump, like that is like the one in my woods or whatever, even though it's going over a train or under an aeroplane or something. It's super cool that that is possible. So when you start the game, you have a bike called the Squid, which is hilarious because that's what kind of me and some of the guys at Woburn call 
stuff that's a bit rubbish or <laughs> maybe someone that needs a bit more practice. And there's four bikes and the last one you unlock, which this is really cool, is a slope style mountain bike. So as soon as I saw that that one is all like shaded and not unlocked, I was desperate to unlock it so I could ride a course on a bicycle. And then later on in the day, we find out that in the game you can build your own courses. I was instantly thinking, okay, I'm building my compound. If I, if I get the chance, I'm building my compound and riding it on the bicycle. And that's actually what I did. So this is footage of me desperately trying to build my compound in about 10 minutes. I was so desperate to build my compound and with the time I had, because I love building jumps, I kind of bodged it and actually managed to build what I think is a good replica of my compound because I'm not a computer coder. I can't just type in a load of numbers and it appears. I had to build it out of block by block, like, like at my compound when I built a pump track. This is what it looks like, and I actually rode it, flipped both jumps. If you haven't seen my compound before, this is what it looks like. Woo! You complete levels, you unlock better bikes, harder tracks, which by the way are so hard. One of the extreme difficulty ones was just insane. Like I took maybe 50 to 100 goes just to get up a crate, get on top of a box, which was about 1% of the level. So you can see how challenging it is and kind of how rewarding it is to actually complete an insanely difficult level because it's not easy. Okay, so I also got the chance to play against other professional gamers whilst they're in the multiplayer mode, which obviously was really competitive. I'm a pro bike rider, they're pro gamers, so it was kind of like, who's gonna be the best? It was the pro gamers. <laughs> <laughs> which is annoying but completely fair enough those guys kill it and I came close to last every time because one mistake and it's so hard to earn that time back and I was just desperate to do backflips the whole time so when the game comes out it's gonna be cool playing against my friends and hopefully some of you guys just you can play online you can play against each other and you can even play on courses you've built yourself so I could build my compound and you guys can play it or if you guys build something that's in your local woods or your local bike park, I can play on that, which is really cool because if it gets dark early and there's nothing to do and you're done with riding, you can go home and ride the same course on a computer, which is epic. All right, so that was an insight into the Trials Rising game, which for me was a really cool opportunity because it's got me back hooked on the game that I used to play at school. And with everything I've learned now about building jumps and putting that into a game where, okay, I get to build jumps, I get to ride them, I get to be competitive. It was a sick opportunity, thanks to Ubisoft, but the game's released soon and it's gonna be really cool to play against you guys and just enjoy it because it's a sick game. Thank you guys, you're all absolute legends. See you in the next video. Peace out.